Okay, so I want to take a second to talk about the nutrition assignment. Um, it's worth 10 points. It's going to be due in lab, usually in a typical semester is a fourth week of classes. During the summer, it's, I think, in a couple of days, well, probably three days, probably next week. So if you want to know when it's due, look at the syllabus and I'll tell you uh, when it's due. So the purpose of this assignment is to determine how healthy or unhealthy your diet is and to be aware of how eating habits affect your health. Um, do your own work. I want you to type up the final draft of this. You don't have to type up your log um, of your food and you don't have to type up your calculations, but I want you to give me a summary type up. Um, I'm not going to judge you on this. So if you had a really, you know, tough day and you had McDonald's three times, that's, that's fine. Um, you know, if you went to Starbucks and had a couple Frappuccinos, that's fine too. Um, if you... <laughs> Uh, ate really healthy, you know, had some veggies and tofu or some salmon, then that's perfectly fine too. I want you guys, um, as healthcare professionals, you have to know how to um, convert uh, food source. So figure out what the serving size is and how many um, kilocalories you get from the grams, okay? And I want you to be aware of uh, your eating habits and how you figure out everything. Okay, so the first portion of this is determine how many calories you're supposed to consume in one day. You're gonna, and you can do this various ways. So you can go on to whatever site you use. Um, if you use an app, that's fine. Um, you can go to this site, what have you, but you need to figure out how many calories you are supposed to have in one day. How do you know that it's a valid site? You should enter your gender, your age, your height, and your weight. Um, and that should bring you close to what your calorie requirement is for the day. Then the next step is track all of the foods you consume in one day. So, and this is hard for people a lot of time. Um, how do you track them? You are going to log, so keep a piece of paper with you and write down all the foods that you take in in one day, so in a 24 hour period. Um, this includes drinks, right, except for water. So food and drink, um, you know, because like if it's a if it's a Coke, then it has uh, sugar in it. If it's a Diet Coke, it has sodium in it. So I want you to track those. Um, write them down in grams. So don't give me the calories, write them down in grams. So you're gonna uh, write down how many grams you have of carbs, proteins, fats, sodium, and fiber. Um, if you want to differentiate between saturated and unsaturated fats and uh, carbohydrates, which would be sugars or complex carbs, go right ahead. Um, fiber is actually a carbohydrate, but it's insoluble. And sodium can lead to high blood pressure. So I want you to track that. Okay, so I want you to write down the grams of all of these that you take in in a 24-hour period. And how many serving sizes did you have, right? So be aware if it was one serving or two servings. If it's two servings, you have to multiply it by, um, you have to double it, right? Then you're gonna add up the total grams of carbs. Whoops, excuse me. You're gonna add up the total grams of carbs. Um, so add up the columns, right? So how many carbs did you have total in the 24 hour period? How many grams of fat did you have total? How many grams of protein did you have total? How many grams of sodium and fiber did you have total? Um, and then once you know how many of each category you had, then you can convert them to calories. So one gram of carb gives you four calories. One gram of protein gives you four calories. So if I had um, 20 grams of carbs times four, that would give me 80 calories, right? If I had 20 grams of proteins, times four calories per gram, that would give me 20, gram, uh, 20 calories, right? If I had one gram of, excuse me, if I had four grams of fat, four times nine is what? 38, no, I think it's 30, no, 38, um, is gonna give us, uh, sorry, it's really late, guys, um, is gonna give us, you know, way more calories, right? So one gram of fiber, you don't convert it to calories because we can't digest them. Um, so um, I want you to track fiber though because you need fiber to keep that digestive tract moving and it's important to have that. Sorry, it's 36 calories, right? So one gram of fat gives you 36 calories. <clears throat> um, then you need to figure out the, so sorry, let me back up. Um, you need to add up 
all the categories once you have your total counts because you need to figure out how many calories you took in in that day, right? So you looked up how many you should have, you added up all of the various categories, the macromolecules, you converted them to calories, you figured out how many calories you took in in that day. Then I want you to figure out the percentage. So take your carb calories, divide by total calories uh, times 100. So you're gonna figure out the percentage of carbs you took in, the percent proteins and fats. Um, and then I want you to compare about them with what you should have had. So how many carbs do you, should you have in a day? It's usually, um, percentage wise, it's usually like 50%. Um, protein should be 25% usually and uh, fat should be about 25%. Look up sodium. Sodium is uh, 3.5 grams or 3,500 milligrams. Fiber depends on if you're male or female but I think it's usually 30 grams. And so you wanna make sure that you're getting in enough fiber because that's gonna keep the digestive tract moving, right? Fiber and water. Remember, you need to have three bowel movements per day. If you're not having three, you know, at least one to three, then um, you have all this stuff just sort of sitting there, um, uh, putrefying in your intestine. Uh, write a summary report. So this I want typed on how you did, right? So what were your percentage? What should they have been? What was your total calorie intake? Um, what should it have been? And then part two, watch the movie Super Size Me and write a paragraph about how this applies to you. I know it's an old movie, but I still think it's relevant um, to fast food. Uh, you shouldn't have to pay for it. You can watch it on Netflix for free. Um, you can also... Um, look at the clips there's a lot of clips that you can find or you can piece together the video um, and this is your nutrition assignment